What's up guys, Moritz here today and I'll be showing you how you can get this featured collection for your very own Shopify store. It's going to be done in a few easy steps. The whole thing is going to be customizable as well and I say we just get right into it. The first thing I did for this is that I headed on over to the Shopify app store where I did get the section store app. It's a component library with over 200 fully customizable components, Shopify exclusive. Like I said already, the app itself is completely free, but a few of the sections do come with a little charge though. We can't have a way around this because we gotta pay for our food as well. <laughs> so let's have a look at this one. This one does come with a one-time charge of $9, but you come with all the customization options in the world. If you bought it once, you also own it forever. So don't worry about that. And even after deleting the app, you're still gonna have the section inside your store. So those are a couple really nice benefits. To actually make sure that section is getting implemented into your store, we have to do one more thing, and that is to head on over to the My Sections area of the app add the section to the theme you're using. In my case, it is the Dawn Live theme, but it does work on every theme, so don't worry about that. Then simply head on over to Customize In and open it up in the Theme Editor. On the same theme, you just installed it to. I've already done so. And here we have a little test store of mine. And we scroll all the way down, go to Add Section, type in Featured Collection, and the one which is going to get marked as ours is going to be the SS section store featured collection. And you will do end up with something like this in the beginning. Of course, we don't want to leave it like that. So I'm going to show you how you can fill this whole thing with content. Just click on the section itself. You can either do a product collection or collection product. So this is going to switch. We're just going to leave it like this for the sake of this tutorial. You can decide here as well how many products you actually want to show inside the section. And here we're just going to go for a super random collection of mine. And we decided to show six products, but we could also show more. So if I would click on 13, I would just go down here, depending on how many products you actually have in the store. But the limit here is as far as this little range slider goes. And you can even select the products manually. But I'm just going to leave this ones right here. I'll just show you for the sake of this tutorial. Just chug in the sixth one and we'll exactly get those ones can even have the collection style with or without button so here we have this and we can decide what collection image we want to show maybe we want to have this one instead of that one so we're going to end up with something like this as you can see a lot of customization options already and here we could customize the text find out about it so this is getting updated live you could change the font as well so you can just pick one of those fonts right here. Here we already changed it. Maybe we make the button size a bit bigger. And here we have a bigger font and yeah, a bunch of more customizations to the whole thing. If we hover over it, we get this little add to cart button right here. This is also a nice little add on. And if we scroll all the way down, we can see a lot of more customization options. For example, the price size, if you do want that to be bigger, this is also going to be possible. And the scroll bar margin top is also something we can add. And the last thing I would like to show you is that we can change all the colors inside those things right here. So if we go on this, we could, for example, change the button color text. So this is going to be red. Maybe we want to have it in green because it looks a bit cleaner. And yeah, I'd say the best way to just learn it is play around with it yourself. At the end of the day, you want to customize it to your store brand guidelines or to your likings. So. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of that whole section and I hope I was successful with that. Let's give it a little reload and have a final look at it. And here we can see the featured collection section, which is customized a little bit. Uh, you see that we changed the image right here. We have the collection of products we selected manually and that is already looking pretty nice. Let me guys, uh, let me know what you think guys and um, yeah hope you guys found that useful if you did always feel free to leave a like and with that being said have a good one and peace out